Hello and welcome to the Bell Hops Tabletop. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bell Hop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we're going to be answering is can we get through Scenario 4 and hopefully Scenario 5 of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion? I'd like to welcome you to my game room here at uh, Casa de Bell Hop. I am here with my wife, Deanna, and we are going to be playing through Scenario 4 of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, the new intro box set for Gloomhaven. Technically, it's a prequel and it's standalone, but you can use the characters in this in the full game. Uh, we've been enjoying it so far. It's definitely a much better onboarding experience than the original Gloomhaven. It's very slowly introducing rules. So we're still doing through going through the introductions. Scenario 4 is going to introduce some new things like the um, element track, which is something we're familiar with. So both of us have played um, the original Gloomhaven a number of times. We haven't finished a campaign, but we are, I don't even know how dozens far through. And dozens. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quite a few games in. We haven't finished it. So we are experienced players, so that is making it a little difficult. Um, usually if we make mistakes while playing Jaws of the Lions because there are a few minor rule changes, plus there are things that haven't been introduced yet we've used a little early. So I don't think that'll happen anymore at this point because most of the core rules have been introduced. So we're just going to jump to it. We will be moving the camera so you can see what we're doing a little better um, with a focus on the board when we get to the main video. Before I go there, I just want to send everyone to uh, tabletopbellhop.com. That's our main webpage where you can find all of our content. Uh, watching this on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. Because even if you subscribe to us, you may not see your videos unless you actually turn on notifications. That's not my fault. That's YouTube's fault. I do apologize. Other than that, if you dig this video um, and you'd like to see us record videos with two cameras, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop because that's something we'd love to upgrade up to. Other than that, we're going to get going. So we are going to move on to Scenario 4. So we're going to start off looking through the How to Play book. Scenario 4 rules. So begin by turning to Scenario 4 in the Scenario book. So one of the things we are, we are headed right over here on the map. I realize we have a terrible glare. We put that sticker last week, so we are headed right over here. So since we're bringing out the book right away, we'll probably tip the camera down. So one of the things with this scenario is we are now, it, the map doesn't fit. So what you can kind of see here is it doesn't fit on here so we have to pull out the supplemental Ooh. scenario book cool and line this up underneath here we're going to use the full monster ability decks so we are going to place all money tokens treasure tiles and trap tiles with three damage tokens so what do we need that's all so what do we need it's down here three damage traps Stone Golem, Zealots, Treasure Chest, four money tokens. So one of the things they suggest you do with this version is you keep the monsters like this so it's got all of the, the standees and the monster card and there's a little initiative card that comes with each monster now in here, which I don't know where you put all of them. I guess they're all just in here. Zealot, was it? Mm -hmm. So Zealot's... And stone Golem. It's not the best box insert, but it works. I can see a lot of people possibly still wanting to uh, pick up a third party. Stone Golems. So those you can start getting out. At the same time, I'm going to get the cards out. Here's the Zealot card. So there's no beginner deck, it's just nope. like we are under the full real deck. The full rules for monsters. Yeah. There's the stone goal. Yeah. This might be a good spot for the initiative target. Yeah, that'll work. Both of these we only have six of. Correct? It doesn't say. Oh, you top of the number of tokens. Yeah, there's six stone golems at least. I have no box here then. Okay. Stone golems. Zealots. Looks like I'm not going to be able to keep all of this in camera, but at least you'll be able to get some of it. So there's the Stone Golem deck, which I will shuffle up. Did you shuffle that? Nope. So Stone Golem deck. If I get this out of the way, maybe. Those Zealots for here. 
sure. You can kind of see that. It's a little glary. Wait, those are both the same color. Yep. <laughs> and almost impossible to read. Right. So you got all the monster. Did you count the number of treasure tokens and all that? I, I did that. The money, the treasure tiles. Okay. They're all in the right spots. They're all in the right spots. All right. Okay. What I was trying to figure out is, is, are there any doors on here? No. no this is all one big open thing. all one so big I can room. put out all the guys. One big room. That's oh, noted on here. So we are going to use the full monster ability decks. We are going to spawn monsters, which we'll find out based on the scenario. We also need to put out the element board, and these six elements are in... It's a little pouch, like a little square, right there. Those should be the element tokens, which are slightly disappointing because they are um, cardboard. We're in the full they gloom haven. They're nice wooden chips. Wooden pucks, yeah. Yeah. They never did fit well. <laughs> I'm like, they still don't all fit in here yeah. nicely. It's, it, I think it's skinnier. We are also going to get the battle goals for the first time. Okay. So we don't have our characters yet. Which I probably should have introduced when we were playing at the beginning. So we're each going to need one of these. So, here we go. One elite. Nothing here with two players. Stone golem for up there. No, no, two players. Oh, right. All right, so we now have battle goals. We get two of these, and we get to pick one of these. And if we are able to accomplish this goal during this scenario, we get a check mark, which is something we got last week. It's a way to level up our characters. Don't look at the screen, Just, uh, though. Okay. Okay. You could ask people in the chat to vote for which one you should keep. Oh, I could, but, you know. All right, there's my attack modifier that. deck. I don't know where I'm putting that either. With the laptop here, it's a little <laughs> difficult. All right, items. So I have to decide because last week, spoilers, we found this, the Fateful Compass. And I have to decide if I bring the Fateful Compass or if I bring a Stamina Potion. Stamina Potions are so useful. But being able to force the enemies to move. And there are and traps. There are traps. Oh, and those traps are there's threes. still three damage, yeah, right? You're supposed to have put yeah. threes on. So I think I'm gonna take the fearful compass and my studded leather. I'm gonna put the reference card up here. Alright, the other thing is we only bring as many cards as it says on your sheet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I bring all my cards. So that's easy. I don't have any decisions to make there. I don't think I do either. I think no, I know at least one of the characters can only ten. hold nine. Oh, so he only had ten. Yep. So when, I, when he told me to add my ones. Yeah. And all right. All the ones are heading out. Whew. All right. Those are my two choices. I think I'm going with this one. That sounds easier, especially on this map. So yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to do that. That goes face down, and I don't tell Deanna about it because we are actually mercenaries and somewhat competing for, with each other. Yes, we're trying to complete the scenario together, and yes, it is cooperative, but... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm an altruist. All right, having all our cards is going to make things interesting. That's going to make slow things down once we get going, I think. All right, spawning monsters will happen, battle goals we've got. If we do it, we get our check mark set up the rest of the scenario. We're now using our full hand limit. Then we'll explain a few new rules before beginning. All right. So we do have the elements. Uh, again, I'm just going to summarize. So some of our cards are going to show elements on them. Here's one. See how that has a little moon symbol on it? That means whenever I use this ability at the end of my turn, I infuse dark, which goes over to that side. Now dark energy is strong on the map. And we feel the dark presence. Now on Deanna's turn, if she had a card that used dark, we could combo it up so that she'd do damage because she uses dark, which would be awesome if you do, because I have lots of ways to infuse dark. I'm checking. I infuse fire. 
I infuse light. Yeah, I have lots of infusing, but I don't seem to have many usings. I have use ice. I use fire. I use... All right, well, I can use my own dark the next turn. So then the next turn, I have these abilities that show use dark. So at the end of the round, after I've done all my turns, Sienna's done her turns, this starts waning. So the power of darkness starts fading, but I have one more turn to pull out either of these two cards. And if I use the dark, I get an additional ability. Okay, I'm all fire and light, which goes in with the whole desert theme. Yeah, that doesn't but, go so uh, great, but I don't need any of those. I have the one desert night card is cold and dark, but I don't use cold you and dark for anything. It. I can just all right, well, we'll figure this out once we start playing. So that, that's the biggest new, new rule. Um, also, there are objectives now. They're in yellow. So I don't know what the objectives are, but there are three yellow pillars, which I'm really tempted for, to go grab like a miniature for them hmm. to make them stick a little more. But there are objectives. We're now ready to start playing it four. Read the introduction, special rules. Stop at the section break. We know what we're doing at this point. So I'm going to have to lean in here. I read the goal. Goal, destroy all summoning stones, then kill all enemies. You arrive at the building marked on the map, an old abattoir, and find an unexpected scene. The entire building is burnt down and it now is nothing more than a scorched husk. This is certainly a new development, as you clearly remember the structure standing before you left on your hunt for the Still River. And the fact that each location has implicated in your search, well, the whole thing is rather suspicious, even if you can't put your finger on exactly why. A little bit of searching through the charred rubble isn't going to stop you from getting to the bottom of this, though. Eventually, you uncover a set of stairs leading to a stone cellar. Given its only piece of the structure intact, you make your way down. A powerful smell of death grows increasingly stronger as you descend until it almost overwhelms you, enveloping you like a suffocating blanket. Thoughts of turning back creep into your mind, but then you hear the chanting. The tone and cadence is similar to those creeps on the ship with the bloody altar. It doesn't take much longer to find the source. A short hallway at the base of the stairs leads to a large open room full of more red-robed zealots. Their chanting reaches a crescendo, and the whole floor begins to shake violently. Fissures erupt from the ground around you, four massive, rune-covered stones scattered around the room. Cracks form in the ceiling, sending large chunks of rock crashing down. Your mind focuses on a singular goal, pushing away all the other complications of the last few weeks. If you don't end whatever ritual is going on right now, you will be buried alive. So I am playing the Red Guard. All right, special rules. Make sure each character's starting hand consists of their ability cards marked one total numbers matches. The objectives are summoning stones. They have three hit points and can only be targeted by melee attacks. When two summoning stones have been destroyed, read one. So we can't melee use ranged. Attacks, no ranged. Huh. Three hit points. And then, so purple is hazardous terrain. Can you read off the notes? I can read off this one. When an objective drops to zero hit points, place a destruction token on it. Like destroyed obstacles, these hexes can now be traversed normally by figures. I can't see what that says. It says open the supplemental scenario book, page three, and attach it to the bottom. Yep. Which we did, and then this one says monsters will spawn at these pots. If the heck is occupied by a figure, monsters will spawn in the nearest unoccupied space. Remember, spawn monsters always act in the round they are spawned. Hmm, okay. Still, this putting the books together is not bad. Yeah, it works. Nice bigger map. I gotta decide even where I am. Yeah. So that's an obstacle right in front of me, right? And all the cards are new. Like, I need yeah, to look at them. This like, is gonna take mm, a little bit. Have so many ranged attacks. It's so sad. So each time after an adjacent enemy attacks you, that enemy suffers damage equal to your shield value. But what's my shield value? Zero right now. Unless that gives you a shield. Right? So I, like, gotta put it with something hmm. else? My lure of the void is not as good now. Because I need dark energy to make the move too. Oh, to make here's them walk a card into... that gives me shield three. There you go. Hmm. Interesting. But would that work with, like, my heater shield, which gives me a shield one? Something that targets all adjacent enemies would work for both the um zealot and the you can't use an element the same round you infuse it correct? you can because it doesn't infuse until the end of your turn yes so purples are difficult to bring takes two to move into mm -hmm. 
I have an ability that lasts for the entire scenario, and I'm trying to decide. I'm like, hmm. Wow, this is just much more difficult. It really ramped up. Like, it, it's been slowly introducing it, and now it's like, boom, we're going to give you all the things. There you go, I can give you shield. Hmm. Where are you heading? I have no idea. I'm going to take out that Z-Lot. Because at this point, oh, here, no, no bad guys are going to spawn at this point until we destroy a couple of these, it sounds like. Oh, okay. Well, right? There's no... Yeah. We'd stop here. I don't know. I think go take out that top Z-Lot and take out that top thing. Mm-hmm. Which, if I stay... If you move into melee, I can give you extra attacks. Okay. I just have to... I, I might be able to take the stone out in one round. Well, yeah, I figured you'd take out the Z-Lot, not the stone. I can hit them both. Oh, okay. The, I have an attack that will hit both. That's what I was asking you about. Really? Okay. I just have to make sure I can move up close enough. Mm. Oh, we get XP now, too. Cool yes. Thing. Though I noticed almost all of mine is for... be able to move unless I go no if I go before you that doesn't work huh that's why I was surprised you were gonna hit both yeah I can do it I just gotta make sure I got the right card I'm gonna go slow just because I need hopefully you'll get in there first and... all right pretty quick I am going at 68 I'm going at 14 the stone golems are going at 28 the zealots are going at 82 all right so what are you going at 14. So you, this is you, then the stone golems, then me, then the zealots. No, yes, that's correct. There's jaggies on these and I can't get them to actually go to the other. Enough. Okay. So I am going to use shocking advance to move one two three to here it will also infuse light all the way all the way right yeah. it's strong then i got it yeah but i can't use it this turn it doesn't actually happen until the end of my turn um yeah you shouldn't have infused it i forget if i don't do it as i'm yeah then you're to cheating it. again yeah okay um then i'm going to do twirling stabs which is an attack two and will target all adjacent enemies so, I will attack the stone for two. Let's put two damage on it. That did not take out the stone. It did not take out the stone. I am sad. And then I took the zealot for three. Okay. Need a three on number three. Is that your and full? that gets me an XP. It's not only if you spend them. Well, no. Look at the way. Is it only if I spend it that you get the XP? No. I don't think it is. I don't is. think so. Now, for example, this one. This is yes. only if you spend it you mm -hmm. get the XP. Yeah. All right. We are going to start off with... Well, you know what? Sorry. Before the end of my turn, I want to use that stamina potion. I'm going to pick up one of those cards. Okay. So the stone golem does runic draw. There's just the one stone golem way down there. Looks like. It is going to move one and then attack at range three, pulling and immobilizing. But there's no way it's going to reach anyone. We have to figure out, does this look like the shortest distance? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, I don't I'm know which way is closest. So it would target me. Here? What I'm trying I, to figure out is which way is closer. I think it would go this way. It would focus on you. This so way and straight ahead would be well, one, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, six, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Or one, two, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So here. Move that. Move plus one. And it actually moves two. So the golem trundles up to there. 
All right, that's the golem. Next is me. I am starting with Grasp of Doom, using that to just move three, which I don't know. Two, three. Mm -hmm. I just need to be within two of you. You certainly are. Where do I want to go here? No longer within two of me. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we will use Wicked Scratch, which everyone should recognize from per earlier. But it's way better now because one ally within range two may perform an attack two or attack three. Swing. So three more to the zealot kills it. Be cold. And that infuses darkness. Infuses darkness. And I gain one XP. And I was going my discard pile. Then we get to the Zealots. So they are attacking at plus one, range three. So this one's going to target me. Yep. It's going to have to move up one. They do have move. Oh, no. No, look at that. I'm yeah. Good thing I didn't move up. They do not have a move. So they are using Unholy Flame. Shoots a fireball at me, but it falls short. They infuse red. Flame, whatever. Yay. And the other Zealot can't reach anything from there. So we are at the end of the round, so I need to shuffle the Zealot deck. Did you get a shuffle? No. No shuffle for you? Nothing exciting. No shuffle for you. No. All the elements go down one. But see, it's easy. You don't use them when you're here. You use them when they're here. It's Basically. not that bad if I put them in. At the no, because you might have been able to use mine. Mm. All right. What are we doing now? Are you going to beat up that thing? Do we try to get out, take out this elite zealot right. before he starts kicking our so butt? Hold on. Let me see if I can... I think that zealot... Do you know my loot now causes damage? See, I, I said can mine loot are definitely and take it out. And then... I don't know. Let's see what else can I do after that, though? Cause that's just, are you going to be able to move? Yeah, because... Do you have a range 3 action. attack? Yeah, but he's more than three away. Are you going to pull I'm him? I'm going to put him on that trap. Ooh. I do... The problem is order, as long as I go before him. I do not have a range three. Shucks. Nope. All right, let's try to think of this. So, I could... I mean, I can finish this off. That part's easy. It's just what else I'm doing. Well, I could just stun him and let you do your own thing. Because the trap's not going to kill him. He's an elite. Hmm. Nope. I cannot hit this and also... Okay. I can't move and damage, basically. Hmm. Man, that's neat, but... So, in my best bet's probably to hit it and then walk down that way. Probably gonna start walking over that way towards that guy. Are you gonna kill the thing? I'm going to kill the thing next to me first, yeah. But do you want me to go back and kill that and you can come beat up this guy? Hmm. That's true. As long as you go first. Well, I am slow. I used one of my quickest cards already. Okay, slow. I don't know. I have so many options here. Yeah, we're going to do this, okay? But I need to go before the Zealots. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. How many hit points does the Elite have? Uh, eight. Okay. So I'm going to take care of three of them. So he'll still have five. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, hmm. I'll go nice and quick. Oh, 
Oh shoot, this is only range three. And he's four away. Which means I have to move. Are you gonna finish off this pillar next to me? Well, um, it's that. I, I wasn't, but I can. You could leave it for now and I'll get it after. Okay. I don't think it's gonna heal, so. No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm ready. Or I could throw him in the other trap, actually. That might have been better. I'm just assuming whatever spawns are not going to be elites. So taking out the elite might be well worth it. Right. Yeah, I don't know. New yeah. cards for the scenario new, is making things all new slower. Cards. I feel silly that I, it's taken me so long. Sorry. I'm just going to do we need the, this. I need to put the background music on. Okay. All right. I am going at 23. 87. Stone Golem is going at 64 with a move zero, attack zero. Oh, oh, I'm slow. I'm, I'm quicker. Barely, barely, barely quicker. Um, so they have a new improved drain life at 27. Mm. So it's me, then the Zealots. When are you? Last. Then the Stone Golems. All right. So what I can't decide is do I want to use up my item this early? I'm thinking I want to do it because I have two choices here. So I'm going to move three. I don't actually want to go that far. I'm just going to move one. Now, if I spend the black, I can curse him, which will put a curse in the deck. Or I could use the black to move three, move him three, but I can also do that with my item. Curse the so deck. I think I'm going to curse the deck. So we are going to use suggestion to move three, then curse him using up the dark. I don't even know where the monster deck is. We didn't even pull it out yet, did we? No. Here it is. If you want to shuffle that with the curse in it. That's part one. Then I am using... Oh, if I'd done this, I would have gained XP. I, at range three, will disarm him. So I need a disarm token. Now, you know what? I'm going to take the XP instead. Take the curse out. I missed that I could get XP for this. It's much better getting XP. Two. Oh, take the curse out. Yes. No, now I see I have XP. So now I can force the target to perform move one with me controlling it. Or if I spend black, I can move him three. Hey. You're just leaving clean out the deck. So one, two, three, and he falls into this trap, taking three damage. And I gain an experience. You know what? You ditch that. This just got even better. It really did. I said that's where I was going to put it. Oh no, that's great. That's great. Next, though, is him, the Zealots. So the Elite Zealot is going to move and attack me at minus one, but it can't because I disarmed him. And then he heals X. X is the damage that was done by his attack, which he didn't make. And then he infuses dark, which I'll be happy to use next round. Oh, you didn't mark off my dark that I used. But then he infuses it on his round. Okay. And he's not moving. Well, no, he's next to me. Yep. He wouldn't move. Exactly. Okay. Because he's not actually making an attack. And then zealot number four is going to move plus zero. Their movement is two. One, two. And then he attacks at range two and can't reach. Your deck. So that's it for the Zealot. Where are we going to throw the baddie deck so people can see it? We're going to throw it right there. Not that we've had to draw from it yet. Stone Golem? Then the Stone Golem is moving. Speed 1. It's going to focus on me and Trundle there. Okay. It's not as exciting as I thought. So I'm going to do a very boring... You could just move, move. 2 and basic attack. 
Oh, I'm going to do a move too. Or you could basically attack the pillar before you move. I going to move down here and target him. That's what I was planning all along. I'm just going to move one though because it's a range attack and I don't want to be adjacent to him. Why not move on to the coin? Why not move on to the coin? Because then yeah. I am not too away from All right. Him. Your range is short. Yes, my, as we already discussed, my range is only two. So, my blinding sickle, which only has a range of two, will attack him. So. For two. He is also immobilized. Okay, I need two damage and then immobilize. And light is infused. And two damage. So there's no fives, right? No, I think it's one, three, one, ten. One, three, ten? Yeah. Okay. And that is it. That is my very not exciting move. So you'll know I just use this as a basic two move. I didn't do this. Okay. Nonsense down there. What is that nonsense down there? Move six, jump. Oh, it burns it. Burn it. I'm like, why wouldn't you if because it gets Because I don't want to burn my card. Right. Next round. Infusion's all. Go down. All right. What are we doing now? I don't know. Well, I'm thinking of hitting this guy and poisoning him. If you can infuse ice before I go, that'd be awesome. Nope. My infuse ice card is in my discard pile, so that's not happening. Most certainly not. Or I can move over next to the pillar and hit it. But I think he's more important right now. You think he's more important? Well, if you want to take care of him. How many hit points does he have left? Just three? Yes. I should be able to kill him. I mean... Remember, you have mostly not plus ones. So poisoning him is probably pointless. I'm better going to attack the pillar. Why can't you use ranged attacks on the pillar? That's weird. It's annoying. Hmm. If it says something happens when an enemy enters a hex adjacent to you, the enemy has to move in, right? Yes. Me moving up to them doesn't... It says when an enemy enters, right? Yeah, all right. Those pillars aren't doing much walking. It's a problem. No. Can you curse objects? Objectives? I doubt it. <laughs> I'm I like, somehow that'd be nice. doubt it. If I can curse them, I just thought of a good strategy, but I doubt it. Curse you. Uh, 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 oh, objectives are surrounded by a yellow border. Objectives cannot be moved through unless you jump. Always important to the goal. Either way, they'll have a maximum hit point value. This can be affected by, dam by damage like any figure. Immune to all conditions and forced movements. Is curse a condition? I'm assuming curse is a condition. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little condition token. No, so it doesn't. Oh, curse no, you're does right. not. Curse doesn't. It, it goes in your deck, yeah. Let's see if uh, curse is curse a condition. Curse and bless might be their own thing, but still. Curse is a negative condition. Dang. Yeah. All right. That would have been overpowered anyway. Okay. Hmm. You you were gonna have extra movement. Well, if wait you a second. I've got an idea. If I move there. So, I never had these kind of powers in the other Gloomhaven. So this depicts the black hex where is you where are. I am, and yes. those are the ones that I'm hitting? Yes, okay. but you have to spend an element to do that. Yeah, I see that. I just, yeah, and fire's no longer infused. It was. It was, but it wasn't, it wasn't the right Oh, black's time. infused, eh? Okay. Man, I don't so know. So I'll do that. And then you need to... 
we'll see another one. It's when we destroy two colors, we have to roll and read more? I think so. Yes. My two summoning stones. All right. I am ready. Okay. At 43. Oh, I did not shuffle. 32. I want to go before them. Perfect. Let's get them a moment. What about this one? Vile Scourge, and they are going at 83. So at 32, I'm first. Yes. Then me. Then Zealots. Okay. Okay. So I am going to use this Healing Sands, which allows me to move three, but I'm only going to move two. Um, all attacks targeting you gain disadvantage for the rest of this round. So that'll stay up here in my active area. If you wanted to move three, it wouldn't attack you. <laughs> um, but I want to be right there in that spot because I'm going to do twirly stabs. I will attack two, targeting all adjacent enemies. I will use this for a plus one attack. So it's attack three, targeting all adjacent nice. enemies. So, starting with him. You don't kill. Two. Told you it wouldn't kill. On the stone. Give me a three. The stone is four. Stone, we need one of those things in the last bucket that goes on top of the stone. And it's now an open hole. Rubble, rubble. So that is what they've done to replace overlay tiles. And that gets me an XP. Okay. I could kill him instead of the stone. Well, I went first, and when he attacks me, he'll have disadvantage, so that's something. Should I finish him off? Instead of destroying the stone? Probably. Because you know something's going to trigger once we <laughs> kill two stones. Yeah, that's... Okay. This is going to swap up what I'm going to do, for sure. I will start with Freeze the Soul, which I wish ice was infused, but it's not. It's an attack three poison. My attack deck is here. Oh, I curse him. Attack four and curse. Boom. That kills him. He drops a coin. We need to shuffle this deck. Can we take all this away? Yeah, I'm just going to put these down here. Then, this is the monster deck. I move two. One, two onto this coin. And one ally within range three may move two. You may move two. Ooh, I think I want to head down this way. Watch what the zealots are doing. Like, he's going to walk over and hit you now if you do that. Mm hmm He'll have disadvantage. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to get over there to smack on him anyway, so... All right. I pick up the coin at the end of my round. Then the zealot goes. It is moving minus one. It's attacking minus one, and it's poisoning. While moving minus one is going to make it easily move into range. Then it's going to attack you. Let's hope one of those curses come up. Its attack strength is two... Minus one is one, minus one is another. Disadvantage, same difference. Is zero damage, but you are poisoned. I am poisoned. Which is all right. I can take care of that if I can get closer. I'm fine. You're a little far away, though. I am fine. No, it's still bless you, remember? I have that ability when I remove poison. Yep. It blesses. Uh, then we have the stone golem, who is moving one and attacking everyone adjacent. It's just slowly trundling up from the back of the room. Not all that scary. So no one needs to gone, reshuffle. This slides over, and I have a question. 
from here, I, can I pull him into there? No, no, that's not closer. I don't, I don't like that answer. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. What if I did that? Excellent. That's good. Do we want to? We want to go quick, right? I'm gonna destroy this thing quick, and stuff's gonna happen. So. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go quick and smash him and pull him into that. Okay. You can't pull there. Trust me, I, right. I will be able to pull. All right. I have fifteen. I have sixteen. Zealots are just doing basics. Nothing special. Does every card have a fifteen? Mm, Nothing special in in Tales of the Lion, whatever this is. Jaws. Jaws. And 90. They're moving minus one. Why even put minus one? Oh, I guess higher level golems might move quicker. The golems have been completely useless this battle. Yeah, because the they have a movement of epic one. ones. What are the gold ones called? So I start casting the Songs of the Void. What this is going to let me do is curse an enemy within two every round. Nice. Which, until I get closer to things, probably isn't going to actually help. But you know what? It gets it in play. Um, I need my little box. Yeah, for... This is going a marker so that I can start cursing things and then I am just using gift of the void but I'm not actually using it I'm just using this as a basic attack against the stone pillar 4-4 four, four. Well, that or sorry 3 but that's still enough yes. so that is destroyed <laughs> the tremors have subsided you feel you've finally gotten a handle on things but then more men with robes rush from the deeper tunnels of this wretched place to aid the others. Mm. Spawn one normal and one elite zealot at B. Wow. Yuck. Both at B. That's weird that they're wild as far away as possible. Yeah. That was hard. Here we go. They can't both show up on the... Oh, okay. They can't both show up on the same slot. All right, we have zealots. Will they be as close to us as possible when they spawn? Is that how that we works? We get to pick, technically. I would think they should be as close as possible. If we were more characters, more of them would spawn. When the remaining two summoning stones have been destroyed, read two. All right. So they're not summoning stones that are going to keep summoning, at least, with the, the yes, those rules. Yeah. I think that's it. Until, well, maybe more will spawn once we kill mm -hmm. the, the last ones. More upset but we don't. What's the goal? Yet. Kill everyone? Yeah. Yeah, we'll destroy all stones and kill everyone. All right, now it is the zealots. No, no. It's me. Oh, it's you. You're done. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to move two with a jump okay. to there, and it also gives me shield one till the end of the round. And then, now that I'm over there, I'm going to use my flaming sickle to pull him over to me. So it'll be attack three. Do that first. Range two. So, so four damage. Four damage I and got then. It. I what number pull is him he? Into number four. Yep. And then I pull him into here for three more damage. And he dies. Yes. The trap going off. Finishes and him off. We need things. a coin. Don't forget the coins. And the coin goes out on that one. And, and he, they are all it. dead. I didn't burn anything. Okay. Now it is the zealots. Now that there are a couple. The Elite first is just going to try to move into melee. It moves three. I'm pretty sure you are the closest. One, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four. Who knows? Yeah, so they move three, did I just say? Mm -hmm. So as close as he can get is there mm -hmm. because of the hazardous terrain. Then this is also going to move three, and I think this is going to be the closest. One, two, three, four, five, six versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. eight. Yeah, so one, two, three. Oh, they... I was going to say, does he have less movement? Cause he's no, they're both two. Okay. Both two. And then they had plus one this round. That's why he moved yes. three? Yes. Okay. They have plus... Plus oh, no. zero. Plus zero. They have sure both only went two. Okay. It worked out the same. It's fine. But you kept saying three. I like how you only cheat for the bad guys. It's yeah. Fine. It's all good. 
Uh, then our awesome stone golem stands there flailing around, trying to do a calculated strike on no one nearby. You're next to a pillar, too. Just I know I am. Flare. I'm, I'm no, I'm just afraid about Claire. Thinking about doing a short rest. Unfortunately, I'm down to two movement unless I short rest. I'm not going to be able to help you much down there. No. I have. Which is kind of terrible. Yeah, I think I'm going to short rest. Where is it? Well, uh, that hurts, but it's not terrible. I lost that one by resting. I used to have a move four, it's gone. Hmm. I am not used to that. I probably <sighs> Are you moving? I am not moving. Okay, I'm good. Okay. 36? 32. Damn it. Oh, well. I wasted. I may have wasted a card. The golem is finally moving quicker at 51. Zealots are moving slowly but attacking quickly at 65. Oh, they actually, they're slower than the golem. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to um, use my healing sands as a basic attack action and attack that for two. Missed. And I missed it. I missed the giant pillar. It's embarrassing. You failed to hurt. Yes, well, now I'm going to use this loot where all adjacent enemies suffer one damage. So it takes one damage. Yep. And I loot, and I loot. And you get number? 16, it looks like it says. And light associators. Oh, you got a thing. Can you mark off 16? Right I shall. A mana potion. Interesting. I had those in the other game. It's kind of useful. Oh, you can infuse elements. Neat. Okay. That's not terrible. And you can use it right away, and it doesn't count towards your item restrictions. Not this round. You're done? I am. I am done. And it's when we destroy two more? Both of them, right? Yes, the remaining two stones. Alright, at 36, I move three. One, two, three. It puts me into range three of you, and I give you an attack three against the stone, infusing dark, and gaining an XP. Alright, well, I smack that stone for three. Which is enough. Destroyed stone. Working together. Teamwork, <laughs> teamwork. This is so a support character. Uh -huh. 
All right. Zealot is going to move only one and be frustrated because there's a He's golem in front of him. Oh, no, no, the golem's first this time. Mm, that's right. Oh, the golem so actually is going to smack me. That's not good. Uh -oh. It moves two. One, two. Uh -oh. And then attacks me. Well, that's not good at all. It's you attack minus squishy. one. Attack minus two, and it only does three, so I take one. Hmm. Now the zealot is going to head towards you, but it's still not going to move. Because at a move minus one puts it at one, and that's not any closer. Oh, no, it's going to focus on me. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you're or one, two, th three, four. Or one, two, three, four were the same. And I, you faster, went before I mean, me. So he's going to focus on me. So he's just going to stay there. Okay. Because that doesn't actually bring him closer. Right? right. One, two, three, four versus one, two, yeah, no, it three, bring four. Him any closer, so. Or one, two, three, four. And then this fella would scoot up one. Yes. Okay. Then we got to shuffle this. Still no guy in the chair. I'm shocked. Oh, boy. Do you want help with that giant golem? Mm hmm. I'm going to curse him. You okay if I just wander off and leave you to him? I might curse him twice. Oh, no, that's a ranged attack. I want you to curse him, not me. Let me put no. it that way. I can disarm him. So that's always nice. And then move him three. There's no more traps left, right? Well, there are, but it's way and back I'm there. Pull him into a okay. Turn. That's my plan. I could have him go smash one of the other guys, but that burns the card. But it's worth two XP, and there's not that much left. And I feel like I have lots of cards. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know what's going to happen to when, we, ice, when do we? we do those pillars. But right now, it sure does feel like we have plenty of time to do all the things. Um, hmm. Options. Right. No, uh, you're not close enough for that to work. If I go before you, I might give you a burst of speed. I'm not really planning on going too far. Just far enough to yank this guy into this trap. You have lots of health. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm at full health. I'm poisoned, but I'm at full health. I have mm. not been uh, wounded. Man, options, 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 options. Well, my plan is to mosey on down here and pull him into a trap. I can definitely pull him into a trap from here. Can I do yeah. it from there? Yes, because that is closer. Okay. <clears throat> I just can't decide what I want to do. This did not slide down. That needs to happen. Alright, we're going to go with this. Alright, I'm ready. Sorry that took longer than usual. 49. 41. Zealots, 46. Golem, 90. Me, Zealot, Which means if you... I... Get them out of the way. This is kind of nice. I hate, I don't like how small it is, but I like having... I just wish, the, I don't know, the colors were more different or something. So I could just tell, oh, the orange one's going to go. And then yeah. remember this, oh, it's the orange one. That would be helpful. But I like having an initiative tracker in I general. I quite like it. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to use the basic move action here. And I'm going to go boop, boop, down to there. And then my flaming sickle... I shall attack three. Shouldn't that guard be gone by now? I did a short rest. I know. I hit him for four. Four is not enough to kill a zealot. And then I pull him into this but trap that for kills three him. more. Drop some gold there. And then we infuse fire. Put these away. And he becomes a lovely coin. That's it. Yeah, I transmuted him into a coin. Best I got. That did not get me any XP. 
And that is all points. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Same thing. He's going to go for you because you went faster. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you went faster. But it's not moving. So it's a range two target two. They try to boil blood, but no one's close enough to them. I don't know what they thought was going to happen. Yeah. But this definitely wasn't it. Then I start with... Which one am I going to use? Uh, at the start of my turn, I may curse anything range two. Perform a curse range two action. So I curse them. They're dead because dude is within range two. And that goes into this part of the deck and gets shuffled immediately. So that was the start of my turn. And then I'm going to turn out the lights, which is an attack to range three. Oh, no, I'm going to back up first. Sorry. Um, this looked like it was going to be really cool. I might have gave you an attack five, but it would have, you could have, you would have had to lose two health to do it. Mm. But it's sorry, an attack seven. Damn. Attack but seven. I don't need it. But you would have lost two health, but I can't reach you now. So I'm just going to use this as a move two. I can't move through the enemy, so I'm going to come around this way. Or do I just go up and get a coin? I'm going to go up and get a coin, assuming you can smash that last. And then I use Turn Out the Lights, which is an attack two, range three, but I'm going to use the black to make it an attack three and cause a curse. So attack three, minus one is two damage to the golem. Put a curse in the deck. Two damage, there's only one golem. And put another curse in their deck. Nice. And now the golem's going to go, but he's moved minus one, and I walked away from him. So nice. he's not doing anything. Excellent. And I grab this coin. Wonderful. I have two cards left. If I were to do that. Oh, this all has to slide. Can I back up and just move one away? Oh no, then I wouldn't have got the coin. I'm silly. I should have stayed closer. There they are. I shouldn't have moved that far away. Okay. I think. Even with the mana potion, though, you infuse the element. Do you get to use it just then? I think it's at the end of the turn. Okay. I don't know. Because so items are allowed... your turn, infuse anyone else. So, no, I think you could use it the turn. Like, that's the point, right? Mm -hmm. Is you drink it, and you could use it that round. That could be interesting. Alright. I know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm going fast. Hmm. I don't have much I can do on this guy at this range, unfortunately. You choose whether or not you use the element, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm at 23. Do you need to shuffle their deck? Yeah. I'm at six. Six, wow. So golem's at 10. Holy cow. Okay. You don't want to attack the golem. <laughs> um, Anytime a figure attacks the stone golem, that figure suffers three damage. I am not attacking the golem. The hex whip, the, uh, the thing's You're about to team. jump towards you. Holy cow. Alright, but I'm at six, so I'm still going Just to. Just making sure I didn't miss a reshuffle. And what was yours? Uh, 23. Okay, so. so I'm like so last at 23. Wow. I did not expect them to be so zippy, but I'm still faster. Okay, so I'm going to use the flame shot to move forward, but I'm, I'm not going to use the fire aspect at the bottom. Oh I'm my god. One, two, three, four to here. Then. 
I am going to use Shield of the Desert. I'm going to use the fire to do attack three on these two. Okay. But I'm going to use my mana potion to infuse light and then use the light to give plus one to the attack. Okay. And push. Not that I care about that part. Okay. So they're going to be attack four. So attack four on him for four. I need a one. And what number is he? Two. There you go. And then on the stone. So it's destroyed. Thus destroying the last stone, which might not be the best thing. But hey, Spawn one normal stone golem and two normal zealots at A. And I get the thing I get XP. Yes. Yes, I do. You need a stone golem. I don't know where you I have right the standards. It's a lot of bad guys. It's still the kill. Yeah, yeah, it is. And that's it. Spawn one normal stone golem and two normal zealots at A. Additionally, spawn one normal stone golem at B for three characters. One normal stone golem at B and one elite at C for four characters. Hmm. I can almost do, like, the most awesome thing. Almost. But I don't think I can reach. I have this thing that lets me take control of an enemy, move him three squares, and attack three. If I could have had him attack, you would have got hit by the feedback from the golem. Oh. But I can't. I'm not close enough. Right. Oh, like, I was been... thinking of having the golem move up and whack him anyway. Dang. Right? Like, I'm trying to decide. Because now that I see it's what's too bad left. You some boots. Now, even with boots, it wouldn't matter. So, I don't know. I have move three. Even with move three, I can't get there. I can get to here. Oh, that would work if I get to here. But then I'm next to the golem. <sighs> now i got to think about it. Is it worth it? It burns the card. No, it doesn't work because that card is my move three. Right. You can't do. No, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm going to be the cowardly here. I am using suggestion. Look over there as I run over here, move three to grab this coin. <laughs> it's just I'm far enough from the goal and he shouldn't hit me. Pastor. And then I am starting the master influence now. So the first attack I perform every round gets me advantage. And I can spend any influence to get plus one attack to it. Plus, whenever a bad guy attacks now, it uses my modifier deck instead of theirs. Hmm. Oh, and at the start of the turn, I do not I'm curse. not sure that's an advantage, because you've been putting curses in their deck. Yeah, I know. That's the... Yeah. That's an odd one. I gain one XP for that. Nothing for this. And two XP for that. Okay. Next. Oh, it wasn't even my turn. Shoot. Damn it. My bad. Let's take all that back. Because stuff has to happen first. Oh, yeah, the golem's not doing anything. Oh, it's not going to matter. And then this guy's just attacking you, minus one, and cursing you, and infusing one. Oh no, because we have another golem. Oh, the other golem won't move either. So the zealot attacks you for uh, minus one. So one, you're cursed and wounded. I will use my shield so I don't take the damage. I think shields tap, don't they? Um, you're right. They tap, not not flip. This this one is gone. Let me get used to it. Um. Wounded. Wounded. I'm trying to remember what that looks like. And cursed. Wounded. I don't remember. I, that means I take a damage yeah, every round until I hurts. heal it. Oh, you're poisoned. They should have did one more damage to you. So you are Which means one, one gets through. And they infuse wind. Wind. Okay. So I have to shuffle that into my deck. Okay. Now the next zealot. Number three is going to move three jumping. He's going to hit you too. Two, three jumping. Nice. You're get, getting messed up this round. Mm -hmm. Misses you, but you get another curse. Right. I said, don't bother Luckily shuffling. I'm not done shuffling here. Then the third zealot is going to move in here. One, two, three, and mm -hmm. hit you. 
plus one. So that is two, three with the poison. Three with the poison. And cursed again. Okay. That wasn't nice. I'm okay. Sorry, I'm here, not there. And they're all adjacent to me now. That's a good thing, sure. I don't know. I don't remember what cards I have left right now, but I have some cards that attack all adjacent enemies. Okay, I gotta, I'm gonna rethink this now that let you know. stuff changed. Yeah, I've got target all adjacent enemies. But, I did just put three curses into my deck and I'm quite wounded. <sighs> You're far away from me to heal, too. Yep. I, I have, have healing. I have healing, but I don't have it right now. It's all in my discard pile. <laughs> oh, hum. Yeah. Do you want the golem next to you, too? <laughs> or is that too much? I suspect I'll be going before you. But it doesn't matter. It's my turn right now. Oh, yeah, okay. Do you want the golem beside you or no? Then I can turn all of them? Sure. Okay, so I am going to use Suggestion, my first burning card. I force one enemy within range four to move up to three. And then, with me controlling the action, then he's going to attack three, targeting the enemy of my choice adjacent to them. Because, oh, I don't have a card in play yet. So he's got to use his deck, so he's probably going to miss. So it's an attack three. Yep. So I wasted a curse. That was a terrible idea. That's it. That was a burn. That was a terrible waste. And I get 2 XP. Yeah, I forgot you retconned that card. <sighs> God damn it. And then I move 2. Or I bless myself. I need to get in. I move 2. That wasn't good. Alright, next round. Black. Well, I can attack all the guys adjacent to me and then run away. Well, if you can get within two of me, I can heal you. Yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to go fast. The problem is I'm probably not faster than them. And I'm not running very far. Get within range two of me. Well, I, I will, will be within you. range two of you. So yeah. I will. I'm super slow, though. So, this moves now. And I'm good to go. Alright, 72. 14. Oh, you are super fast. Finally, a reroll. Oh, they're attacking ranged. So it's not going to matter. No. They're super slow, but 82, they're attacking ranged. Oh, I don't think that And the golem is not. So the golem's probably not bad. So the golem is before me, though. Okay. So What's the first. range? Three, it says. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm going to attack... Nobody can always burn cards. I'm going to attack two target all adjacent enemies. So, let's start with him. Number four. I hit. I'm going to need a bunch of twos. With my twirly stabs. This one does hope you need a bunch of twos. All right, that was on number four? Yes, now we will attack number three. Oh. I'll give you back one of your curse cards. Okay, you gave me your recycle. No, that's the monster Oh, one. that's the monster one? Whoops. You did it, not me. <laughs> I'm like, that's not mine. I thought it was a curse. Um, okay, right, sorry. Uh, so, I missed him, I hit him, and now I'm targeting him. Mm-hmm. Two. Three, four, no. Here, you got it? Okay. And then on the stone golem for three. You need to take a wound at the start of your turn, too. Which I don't know if you tracked. I did not. Thank you for mentioning that. So, that was attacking all the enemies. And that I learned things when I truly stabbed them. And then. I'm going to run away. One, two, three. No, oh, you can let them bash on me. That's awesome. Well, okay, that's you want fine. me to run the other no, way? No, that's fine. From here? No, no, you need to be with the two of me. I have a lot of options. 
It's fine. The I went first, so don't back The golem on me. can't actually reach. So the golem's going to move one. We're going to do that to get him counted in the way. And then he attacks zero. Then I go. So okay. we are going to start when with... Light is infused. We are going to start with a heal two, range two, target two, all allies remove poison. Who remove poison gain a bless. Okay, so, so I'm no longer wounded or poisoned, or does correct. just the poison come off? No, both. Okay. And you get a bless. And I get a bless. But I don't actually heal. Correct. But okay. then I heal two at range three. Nice. And then nice. I either short rest or I'm long resting next round. We'll see how the bad guys go at this <laughs> point. See, this one's terrible. It's a heal five now, but it poisons. So I'm like, so you get the five health, but then you'd be poisoned. I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't like that. That's unique. Yeah. Taint of the void. Yeah, the black boon. All right, now the zealots, unfortunately, are going to go nuts. So this one is going to focus on one, two, three. One, two, three, four to hit either of us. So four to hit either of us. We're it's four away. Range three, so it's going to move up one. Does it have a move? In no, no, it doesn't. Right, exactly. No, we're good. One, two, three, yeah, we're yep. good. So is this this one on you? No, this guy will hit me too. One, two, three. yeah, that one too. But All not right. this one. Not that one. All right, at least it's not the elite. Did you remember to do this stone golem? Did we forget he existed? Yeah, he's not doing much, but I don't think he No, you're right. I forgot. I was used to only having one stone golem. Okay. All right, so first one, I don't care who it is, him. Yep. For plus zero. What the hell is going on? So what does that do? Well, that's my deck. It's plus zero. I must have. Did you put your deck there? No, it was a monster. So plus one. Did you shuffle yours? Yes, I shuffled the discards. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, so four. How much is that? Four. And fire is infused. Damn. And then the next one is going to attack. For only two. Okay, I'm not feeling very well. That just healed you. I should have thrown this away when you did me the four. I'll throw it away when you did the four. And then he does two. Doesn't go there. Yeah, it's burned. Yes. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's where everything was. At the start of my turn, I put a curse into the deck. Nice. Which should have been in there for those two draws. Hmm. Oh, well. Damn. They were the last ones. So this is going to slide down. And I think, I don't think I can afford to take a long rest right now with them all right there. So it's yeah, going to be a short, short rest. rest too. that card. Oh, that one hurts too. Oh well. I might do, I might shield myself and then every time they hit me they do, they get damaged by my shield. But then I wouldn't be moving or attacking. I would just be sitting here for this turn. Oh, I can heal you back up. <laughs> Let them move in. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or I could let you hit them, but you're not in range. Because huh. it's a shield three. And then... But, those are both burn cards. I'd be burning two cards. Cool. That's dangerous yeah. at this point. Yeah, that is dangerous at this point. <sighs> I don't know. Do you need... What's more important? Do I heal you a couple? I'm or... at half my hit points. I don't know. I don't know what your full hit points are. I thought we weren't supposed to say numbers. Mm. 
I don't know if you're allowed to say that number. <sighs> Fuck, if you do it, you take two damage. That's probably not worth it. Four. Alright. It's a shield three, and if they come adjacent to me and attack me, they take three, but they have to be adjacent. If they do ranged attacks, I'm only Well, range. most of the time they've been doing. And it is a shield three, so, you know, probably won't get smart too much. Might hit them a bunch. I'm gonna try it. It's an interesting combo. How quick are you going? Super fast. Yeah? Yep. Pretty fast. Alright. Not my fastest, but pretty fast. I'll do this then. I'm going at 72. I'm going at 10. Yeah, that's pretty damn fast. That's not you. Oh, the stupid things are going really quick. The stone golems are going 28. Which is probably going to matter. And the zealots are going 19. Jeez. Well, I still go first. And they are attacked. They're not ranged attacking. Oh, that's good. I like that. So zealot, you, then zealot, then stone golem, then me. Are they doing move plus one? Yeah. The zealots? Yes. Oh, good. I want them to scoot up to me. Okay. I don't know how many will be able to get in there, but. Well, we'll see what happens. Um. So. I am doing Shield of the Desert, which will shield me three, will also infuse both fire and light. Should have been there. And that stays up here, and that will get me one XP. And then the shields have spikes. Each time after an adjacent enemy attacks you, that enemy suffers damage equal to your shield value. That's awesome. Oh, this stays up forever. This isn't just yeah, this round. Yeah, that's forever. Yeah. That's cool. permanent. That's permanent. And I get two more XP. This nice. is just for the one round. So, th three XP. Nice. And when they smoke me, they shall feel my shield spikes. Of course, you don't die first. Yeah, it's going to be great. Alright, Zealot number one. Is Jeez. the elite. We're both within three. You went before me. So he's going to move three next to you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack you. Mm -hmm. Good. That's the idea. Misses. Curses you, though. Okay. And wounds you. Mm. Okay. Well, that's the problem. I don't know. Um, and infuses wind. And infuses wind. And then... And takes three damage. Takes three damage. He dies. Good. He made room for someone else to come on. Can you put a coin there, please? Alright. Number three would be next. He's going to move three. Can't reach One, him. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. And attack. Minus one. Minus one is no damage. Just curse. Because you're already wounded. And then he takes three. And that's number what? Four? Number three. Takes three damage. Now, now number, number four, four wants to move. It jumps, so. One, two, three. Okay, right there. Okay. It's four, one. I Your shield, shield soak it. You need another curse. You're not going to be able to hurt anything for the rest of the game. And he takes, and he takes number four also takes three damage. That puts him at five. I need to three. All right. Then the golem... Moves up one. Oh no, he's not going to move up. Oh wow. This he's is... not going to move up? No, he's doing a ranged attack. Oh, that sucks. So he doesn't move. He attacks you at minus two. Misses. Pulls you two. Okay. So onto the coin. And then immobilizes that you. There would only be one. Yeah, but he can't pull you more than that. Oh, yeah. Be okay. into a square. You don't get to pick it up until the end of your turn. I get that. And then immobilizes you. a lot of little chits. Yes. Okay. I have to shoot You didn't these. end up poisoned, eh? Nope. Just 
interest. Well interested. Well, how hurt are you? Like, should we smack one of these things, or should I heal you four? Healing me four wouldn't be bad. I still wouldn't be at my full hit points. That's probably worth it, then. Otherwise, I can poison the golem, and then you would get to attack the golem. Hmm. But you would take two damage if and you do it. And I'd be attacking with my deck. Yeah. And I'd take two damage. Yes. No, you don't want to do that. All right, so then I heal you two. It's not removing poison, so you don't get blessed this time. But and then I'm I heal not you two. Yes. So you heal so four. So you heal me four total. And, and I add a curse to the it. golem with my sign of the void. And that gives me one XP. And I throw yet another curse in their deck. You know what I haven't been doing is checking. No, I didn't do him. Shit. He's going to move two. And then attack you. And then attack me with his ranged attack. Yeah. Here. One, two, or here. Mm -hmm. Then attack you with his ranged attack. I shouldn't have shuffled this. He yet. won't be able to pull me through the obstacle, though, so I'll end up where I am. Plus zero. It's an attack minus two, so one damage. But I still had the shield on, so is he cursing me or anything else? No. Okay. Oh, man, we are terrible at this game. This is gone. Why? What did we do wrong now? Golems have shield. Uh, no. Yes. Really? Even the basic yes. ones? Yes. Oh, we suck. That's why we need to move them. We really suck. So we'll play this scenario again. Delete the video. Just restart now. Like we screwed up since the first round. Is that what you want to do? You want to restart? I don't know. It's 11 o'clock already. I guess we just quit. We can just finish it out. Sure. How many times have we hit this golem? It's like... That's still the original golem from the beginning, right? No. Yeah, it is. Is it? Okay. This one's new. So I'll take two damage off it, or have we hit it more than twice? I think I've only hit the golden once personally. So, yeah, two damage is probably right. Yeah. Your deck is so filled with garbage, I don't even know anymore yeah, what I, I should be doing. I'm aware. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to scoot up and attack two of the zealots and also put a shield on myself so I don't get Chappie's shield spikes a little bit. Okay. Sixty. Just don't make it. Yeah, I just want to make sure I put that in the right spot last time. I'm like, that scene had to burn, and I didn't discard it. We're good. Um, yeah, I'm good. Sixty-seven. Six. Blood boy, they're doing range muddling both of us. Jesus. And fires and fuse, they have range four. Ugh. And taxing advance, they're moving further. Fire will not be infused by the time they get to go. Well, that part's good. So you, then Zealots, or no, then Golem, then Zealots, then me. Hmm. Oi.
I was hoping to go before the golem. If you make the golem move, he's going to take one damage. I... Yeah, no. That's not going to happen. I'm going to... That's me. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm going to not move you. Oh, I get the no. coin that was there no. at the end of the turn. No? It wasn't there at the end of your round. You got pulled on. Oh, the end I... of my round, not mm-hmm. the end of the round? That's how that works? Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Okay, I thought it was the end of the round. That's fine, I don't care. It's one coin. Anyways, I'm using my flame shroud to move just one, but then I'm going to use the fire to shield myself till the end of the round. Also burning something as I do it. And then I will target all adjacent enemies, targeting these two guys, and I will use up the light to add plus one to my attack. Burning again, so I'm going to get two XP. And I will attack... Number four first. Do you not loot at the end of your turn? I don't know. I thought it was at the end of the round. End of turn looting. Yeah, it's end of turn, not end of round. Okay. So the coin's still there. I do three damage to number four. That's dead. And then, and then I do four damage to number three. Dead. Coin. Done? Um, yes. Alright, so yes, yeah, so both golems are going to have to move. Which is awesome. So, golem number three is going to focus on you, move one, take one damage, and then attack you for three. That's golem number three. It's in the wrong spot. Hits you for three. Okay, I have a shield of one, which means I only take two damage, and my shield spikes do one damage to him. See, that part's good, because they have shields. And then the other golem, number six, is going to move up one, take one damage, and attack you for the same. So again, I take one less, and he takes one. Then I go... Where are my cards? Oh, here they are. I'm like, where did I put them? All right, now i got to decide what to do. i got one next to me now. Uh, I'll, I will give this to you. One ally within range two may perform attack three, and it infuses dark. Who are you attacking? Um, this fellow here. So two. two. So one. So one you said three. it was an attack three, and I had yes. a minus one. So. Oh yeah, it's with the shield. Thank you. Boy. That could have been better. Yep. Um, All right. Now, I don't know. I could give you an attack five, but you'd have to take two damage. I don't think... I think instead I'm just going to move two... idea at this point, because I'm back down to, like, half of my hit points. Over here. <laughs> and pick this up at the end of the round. So we do not have to worry about zealots anymore. Well, they're gone. We just have to Unless more spawn, but I assume not. At I this sure point. hope not. We just have to finish off these stone golems. I could heal myself. How much hit points do the golems have? Ten. Yuck. This one's at six. Okay. Could just run away. They're very slow. I could, but I I can make all adjacent enemies suffer one damage, and then I'll go right through their shields. So I probably want to stay there for that. And then. Okay. 
guess that one. I'm slow for this round. Okay. I'm going 43. 63. Let's take this over here. 72. Oh, they're attacking ranged. Of course they are. What? How slow are you? 63. Alright, so they're going last. Range 3 and they're going to hurt themselves for doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here they are. So, I am going to put this into play, which gives me 2 XP. I'm going for the XP angle here. And then I am going to move 2. You can move 2. No, they're ranged oh. attacking. I was hoping you'd be able to get out of their range. Yeah, and also I want to do adjacent. Like I said, damage, I was hoping. So I think I'm going to stay where I am. It's fine. I'm done. You're done? All right. Well, then I'm going to short rest. Oh, yes. wait. But you want them adjacent to you, right? Yeah. All right, I could have used my thing. It's not huge, but I'm going to do one damage that cuts yeah, through yeah. the shield, right? So. Okay. So that's what I'm doing first. All adjacent enemies suffer one damage. And I loot one. Which means I get these nice. coins. And fire is infused. And then, with my blinding sickle, I will attack three on the one that's you probably the most. Finish them off, yeah. It's a ranged attack though, so I will be at disadvantage. And I'm hoping to just get some of my yeah. crap out of my deck, actually. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Nope. How much damage? So I do two damage. So one. And he's immobilized. Immobilized isn't bad for these guys. You need an immobilized token. And light is infused. He's immobilized. And... I did not learn anything. That is it. Alright. So, attack one plus... It's damage plus one. So they're attacking at four. Which is terrible, but it's at disadvantage because you're adjacent to them. So starting with number six, no, number three, mm -hmm. we have plus one or zero. So it's four damage. Not going to burn a card. I didn't know what you're at. Uh, well, the other one's potentially and then also going to do four damage. He dies because if they perform this attack, they take two damage. Nice. So we need a coin. The other one could do more than four. Yeah. Alright, so you're not? Alright. Disadvantage. So minus one and plus one gets it to three. Now I have to burn a card. I will short rest. I will short rest. Well, I could long rest. Yeah, except then you're going to do nothing next turn, and he's right next to him, and he's right? just going to pound you. Yeah. I don't think I great. think I need to keep my I heal. I will then. take one damage. I saw something. I can't. Oh, see. my other heal. Great. Okay. I am at that store. Um, I don't have any healing left. So. I don't know. I know what I'm doing this round. Does it involve healing me? I can. <laughs> Should I run away from this bugger? I'm going to pull him next to me. As long as I go quick. I go quicker than that. I might get exhausted if I'm not careful here. Yeah. That would be bad. Oh, Sean totally missed the notification that we've been live all night. Hey, Sean. Um, I don't know. I could do the adjacent damage thing again. It would hit him for one guarantee. But I'm pulling him next to me. If I went first, it would oh, happen. Yeah. 
Yeah. No short flow. But... Uh, but then that means I'm not running away from him. But you said you're going to pull him. So I'm just hoping you go before he does. Mom? I can't tell you what I'm going at. I technically already said it. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, I'm going at 36. I'm going at 6. They are going at 83. Excellent. And moving only one. So that's good. That's good. So when are you going? 6. Alright, you go first. I go first. Okay, well first, um... All adjacent enemies suffer one damage, and I loot. And this gets infused, but that's up to the end of my run. But it doesn't matter, because I'm not spending it or anything. I could do this, but then I'd be locking up the card, and that'd be bad, because I have so few cards left. So I'm just going to do a basic attack with my Flame Shroud, and I will hit for three. So two. Minus one for the shield, yep. so two. So that's six of ten. We should be able to get this. So I'm going to do nasty things to him, too. So you're done? Lights infused. Okay. And these are gone. I didn't learn anything. And yeah, that's it. I start my round by using the fateful compass and calling him towards me. Then I grasp of doom. Look at all the stuff this card does. Phew. So, first of all, because I have... My master influence in play, my first attack of every round is with advantage, and I can spend any color to gain plus one attack. Nice. So I'll use the fire. Okay. So I get I have a three attack here, plus two, so five. Hits him for four. Four plus six is ten, and he's dead. Nice. I would have poisoned, wounded, cursed him, and stunned him. Wow. As well. I get two XP for doing that. That was a worthwhile burn card. I had one hit point left. That was a worthwhile burn card. Yeah, if he would have been exhausted, it not right. And then I was going to force him to back up with a forced move. So I had four cards left. I am at only three health. See that three? You know why that matters? Because I'm a masochist, and I wanted to finish the round at yeah, three health or less. I, I failed my thing. Oh, terrible. Because... I had to collect fewer money tokens than any other character. The problem is, at Why'd the you end, loot? I had to loot to do the one damage oh, thing. It wasn't. You could have moved then looted or something. I mean, I was it know. optional? Could I have not done the loot portion of that card when it was like. Probably. Because I wouldn't have done it the last round to get the last coin. Because I would have been like that. You know. It says they pick up, not they may pick up. Right? All adjacent enemies suffer one damage. Loot one. And, I, and I'm and i like, I don't think you have the option to not loot. A loot ability can't be used if it won't collect money. So no. you can't even use it if the, you can't loot nothing. Well, there you go. But I so, never did loot nothing. I looted each time. So but... it basically just said you have to loot if you loot yeah. and use it. So I did it because it did damage to those guys through their shield. So I am not as altruistic as I thought I was. Nope. So I did get my check mark, but first, here you read this one. Okay. You sit on the cracked stone floor and rest for just a second, eyeing the dark corridors leading off from the room, praying to the oak that more enemies don't appear from the shadows. Luckily, the exit remains silent, but that doesn't help with your ever-increasing sense of foreboding. Something is down in the depths of this place. So far, you've been blindly flailing around, trying <laughs> to get to the bottom of this madness, and whatever it is, whatever answers you could hope to find are waiting for you down that next tunnel. It's just a matter of taking the first step. Rewards. You get the mana potion, item 14. So if you didn't find it in the treasure chest, you get it anyways? That's kind of weird. Yeah, it is weird. Maybe there's a second mana potion. Yeah. Let me look. Oh, maybe. Maybe you also get Mana Potion item 14. Yep, there's another one. There you go. And, and we can each have one. New location, a deeper understanding, number five, which goes on spot C2. All right, we got our map out. I'm going to overlay it on top. Find number five. We go to C2. I'm not going to be able to do this well. All right, let's jump back to the learn, the play, book, or whatever it's called. Learn to play guide. Let's see what it says, because we have finished scenario four successfully. I know people have had trouble with four.
Congratulations on completing scenario four. As always, play through the end of the round. It wasn't. That was the last one to go. Mm -hmm. um, read the conclusion text and rewards. Update the city map board. Cord your gold. Two per money token. So I get eight. Me too. Can you pass me a pencil, please? I wish I did not. Experience gain. So we get six bonus. So I get 18. Each character should now note their experience total tracked. Each time they gained experience as an action. From now on, you will gain additional experience. Completing this and all of the scenarios covered in this book. Rewards six per each chapter. So we should have gained some. From the previous chapter? Total chapters? gain should be recorded in the XP note. So we should have got 12 more for scenario one and two. You sure? Yeah, because it says. Okay. Completing this and all other scenarios covered in this book rewards six per to each character, right? Yeah, but it also said going forward, so... Yeah. Total value of experience game should record in the XP notes. It takes 45 to each level 2, so there's a ways to go. So, I don't know. With 12 more, then I can make it... Yeah, that's true. 8. Because that puts me at 38. Yeah, and I'll be at 35. Or... Plus 6 isn't quite 45, but hopefully... Four you know, hopefully you make at least 4. And, yeah, See, that just makes more sense, that right? That does make more sense. Because I'm like, I read that, and I'm like, how are you supposed to get to the level 45 by the time? Right? It says you should. Uh, characters should now also receive their three level X cards. Woohoo! So cards. we got our thing here. Add these to your pool. So starting next scenario, we actually have to deck build a bit. We actually have options. And it again, notes like the other game, X cards are more complicated, not necessarily better. <laughs> They're usually very situational. Interesting. Yeah. It's like if the target has a negative condition. Oh, I'm pretty good at putting those on bad guys. Oh, that's weird. Wow. Look at that. That's that's just a lot on one card. That is a lot on one card. At least there's double lines, right? Like they all make sense now. Look, oh, yeah. there's your the first attack. There's your second. There's your third action. And it make perfect sense, but that's a lot going on on one move. Force all enemies within range three to attack two targeting enemies of your choice. So it's attack, move, and attack. Nice. Oh, I like the bottom of this card. It's a move four, but if I use dark, I only move three, but I can attack with a bottom. And it's a jump move. Oh, and any enemies move through oh. suffer damage. Yeah, that's a nice oh, one. Oh, I like that one. Characters should now also receive their level 3 level X cards. Level X cards are available for the rest of the campaign. They give you more options. You're still only allowed to bring in the number on the top right of your card. You can look at the upcoming scenario information to be sorted of choosing which cards. Typically more complicated. They can be useful. You can now save or move on to scenario 5 for your first boss fight, which we are going to save. Thank you. Alright, so there we go. That is the end of this rather messy Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion scenario number four. Definitely way harder than one, two, and three. Oh yeah, there was the, a, there was, there a was, jump. There, 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 yes, there, there is a, a jump. There is a, uh, sorry. There is a significant difficulty increase when you hit this scenario. Uh, I think this is going to be a stumbling point for a lot of people. This is the first time people are going to see Gloomhaven in its full glory for how, how brutally hard it can be as far as planning your moves and making sure you don't burn your burn cards and so on. Managed to do it. No one exhausted. Uh, Deanna was down to one health. I was at three, but I technically did it to get a check mark. So mm -hmm. I could have been healing myself every time I healed you and chose not to. Right. Because it was target two. Oh, oh, you could have helped yes. healed yourself as well as me. Yes. Cool. Except they only heal two. That's not I was a lot intentionally of counting how much money you had yeah. and going, no, no, okay, he's got more than me. I can pick up one more. <laughs> oh, well. And here I was rushing around trying to grab as much as I could. So we were hurting for money. It is hard to get money in this game. So, yeah, again, introduce some new rules. Introduce the whole infusion system with this board over here. You already put the bits away I so did, people can't see but it. The, uh, but yeah, they the saw it during the game. They saw it during the game. Yeah. All the lovely... Well, I wish we could do is put elements. in a note that says, if you want to jump to our final thoughts, we're at this time. So yeah, Scenario 4, big jump up. Uh, the, there was a spoiler. It even told us that Scenario 5 is going to be a boss fight, so we get to do a big boss fight. At this point, we've unlocked most of the rules. Like, the only thing new we're going to get to see is those X cards. And then it's going to be leveling up. Yep. And then... We should be moving on to so the rest of the game. So we're getting into deck, what, deck construction. What I would hope is we get options on what to do after the next scenario. 
soon. Because so far, this maybe the whole thing's a 25 scenario linear path. But it'd be slightly disappointing if it's the case. I don't know. Um, before I review the game, I might peek ahead just to see. Mm-hmm. To see if it is. Going to see away. if it is going away. So one of the things we got to remember to do is go through and get all the curses out of the decks. We actually had to put a sticker a on top of another sticker. Yeah. It was so tricky. It, it actually threw Mo and he couldn't figure yeah, out. Yeah. Interestingly put it. enough, we had to put a sticker on top of a sticker. So that was. I find a it funny because it was right after I was like, "Why do they even give us stickers? This is so silly. We're just going in linear progression." But there's a reason to have stickers. Yeah, I guess. Though really, you still mm-hmm. don't need them. Yeah. It looks neat though. But it shows it the neat. spots we've been. Yeah. What I'd like to see is these on the other map. Like, where are we in Gloomhaven compared to the other party? Hmm. So this did introduce battle goals, which is something I've always enjoyed. Um, they do add a PvP element in a way, or a little bit, like, a little bit more competition. There are things, you might do things that are adverse to the group, just to try to complete your battle goal, which adds an interesting aspect yeah. to Gloomhaven. That'll be the, again, for people playing this for the There's first no time, that might be a jump. Right? There's so no retirement. No, no, re- retirement no retirement that I know of. Okay. Because there were no retirement goals. And there's no characters to even unlock. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no more characters right, yeah. in this. There's only four characters come with this. Um, so we did get a little confused on XP, but you're good. Ignore what we said about XP. Just you get six plus whatever you earned in this scenario. And Going same thing for the last one. Going forward from three. Going forward from three, you're going to earn six per scenario. Uh, using the full monster decks makes a huge difference. But yeah, even just like besides difficulty, they really kicked up the like the cards. You were starting with a whole new deck of cards in scenario four. So even if you thought you understood your character by scenario three, it gets a lot more complicated on four. Yeah, the which cards is, were significantly different. Yeah, because they replaced all of your A and B cards with these one cards, and they're significantly more complicated. And they also drop all the blue text, so there's none of that nice, helpful, here's how to do things on here. They expect you to understand your cards now. Which is weird that they got rid of the helpful text when your cards get more complicated. Just yeah, kind of strange. There's no space. My cards are so complicated, they're taking up all the room. I almost wish there was a reference that showed each card with a detailed description of that what it did. Neat. Like, I don't know, in an example. Like, mm-hmm. here's this monster's two away, so you did this. Uh, I gotta say, I do dig this Voidwalker character class. Most of what I do is either make Deanna attack, or I make the monsters attack themselves, or I make them wander around and do stuff. Yep. So that's that's definitely different You've than anything I've seen. that poisons me? Yeah, I have, well, it heals. My heal poisons, my okay. best heal. Right. You can heal me, but it poisons me. You have an attack. You can oh, I have, make I have, me do an attack, but I take damage. I have three of those. That make you do attack, but you take damage. Yeah, yeah there's some interesting I was surprised to find that I had healing. No, it's good that you had healing. Well, it's good, but I was surprised at my character. Yeah, I'm healing. tempted to buy a healing potion, actually, after that fight. But we so only about each it. have one, one item, item at this point, yes. That's so uh, hard. Makes it hard. To decide what to bring. Um, the other thing I know, Scenario 5 will introduce is the difficulty levels. So if people do get to Scenario 5 and are hard, having a hard time, oh, they can you'll be able to drop to down to easy. Cool. No, you can't do that in 1 through 4. So fans of Gloomhaven... There's no playing on easy at this point. You can't drop it. Even though the cards, there's the zeros. Like, I could technically turn this to a level zero stone golem. Which wouldn't have shield. Which is what we were doing, basically. You could do that, but um, that is not part of the actual rules. Hmm. So it's already 11.26 tonight. So for those of you here live, I don't think we're going to do another one tonight. We might fit one more in Monday or Tuesday. We'll see. Not Monday. Oh, no, Monday night, I guess I'm going maybe Tuesday night we'll fit one in. Uh, I plan on doing a review of this live on Wednesday, so join us, twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop. For those of you listen on YouTube every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, New York Time, Toronto Time, you can find us at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop, where every week we answer your gaming and game night questions. We take a question sent in through our website or social media, and we answer it live on air, um, as well as usually offering up two tabletop game reviews. I won't say board games, tabletop game reviews. And then a look at what we played in the week previous. So the usual thing you hear on a podcast where the hosts talk about the games they played. That's Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, twitch.tv slash tabletop bellhop. As for actual plays, you can usually find us on Friday nights starting at 8.30. With the pandemic happening, that's going to maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I, I'm not going to promise anything, but check Twitch at that time or just head over to Twitch, click on follow, and you'll get notified when we do go live. Other than that, head to tabletopbellhop.com for all kinds of other cool gaming content. Good night. And game on. And game on.